Good afternoon, everyone. This is uh, Hello Cyberdemon again. And if, you, if you've ever played a game like I have, Alien vs Predator 2, and by the way, shut the fuck up about my desktop. I don't care. It's, I'm reinstalling my computer anyway. That doesn't matter right now. Anyway, uh, I will be. I'm gonna be showing you how to get Alien vs Predator 2 uh, running on a modern system, and I will include a special gift in the description down below. So yeah. So here we go. You ever trying to play this game and, oh man, oh fuck, it doesn't run. It does this. You know, it, it just, you know, it crashes. And you got that client MFC error. Let's just uh, check it out. Let's go to my properties real quick. Go to compatibility. Let's, you know, just let's change it to, uh, let's turn off compatibility mode. All right, right? Turn off compatibility mode. Starts okay. Oh shit, it doesn't start correctly. Or it doesn't do a certain number of things. You see a client MFC or you try and run it in something mode. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to get this game to working properly. Now first of all, after two years of trying to get this game to work on and off using my own copy, I own a, my own copy, I purchased it from a store. It's in perfect condition. And I own a torrented copy as well. Well that doesn't really matter because this game's abandoned where anyway, so it doesn't matter. Monolith doesn't give a shit, Fox doesn't give a shit, Rebellion doesn't give a shit, they don't care anymore. So, you're going to go to your device manager. Now this is what I'm going to explain, it's going to be a little complicated. First you're going to bring up your folder right here, your Alien vs Predator 2 folder right here. And you're going to install the game like normal, do the, update, do the update if you want to get multiplayer or prevent people from hacking or do whatever. I don't, this is an updated copy, a 1.0 copy, because I personally like 1.0. Personally, that's just my preference. You're going to right click on this, go to properties, go to compatibility mode. Now, there's a, I would uh, either do 98 or XP Service Pack 2. Now, there's a difference. I've figured this out. I am using a Logitech G933 headset, okay? I'm going to explain this here in a second. So, I'm just trying to keep myself on track so I don't, you know, have a manic episode and spaz out, all right? So right now I'm going to select uh, Windows Me. All right. Now what that means is that I think the maximum resolution this game can support on uh, 98 slash Me compatibility mode is uh, 12 1280 by 960. Now this game doesn't look super good or anything like that. It's just really fun. All right. Make sure you click to run this game in Administrator as well. Now whatever you do for this, the EXE right here, you're going to do the same thing for the Lith Tech. Okay, because that's the engine it runs. It's running an older engine. It, I think this game this game was before Fear, but they had a newer engine running. So you're going to do the exact same. I don't have them different. Okay? Now I'm going to show you the difference as well. You have to do this as well. Disable all of your human interface devices. If you have a headset or if you have a different headset from me, the reason why I don't have these disabled, these two right here, is because these are my headset, my Logitech G933. When I run these, when I run it in Windows Me mode, uh, I have no problems at all. None, none, no problems at all. But I'm, like I said, I'm limited to 1920, or uh, not 1920, uh, 1280 by 960. Okay. So, what you're gonna do if you want to run this, uh, if you want to run it without a headset. You're going to go to compatibility mode and switch it to Service Pack 2. Don't go to Service Pack 3. I've tried that. It fucks it up for some reason. It doesn't like it. So you're going to go back to this. You're going to go to Service Pack 2 as well. Run that. Apply it. And then you're going to start the game. Now I'm going to show you what happens when I start the game with my headset enabled. I don't know if you'll be able to see. You might see a black screen. I have no idea. I'm going to run it from here. Allow applications. Click play. And you're going to start it. Now it seems to be running okay. I don't know if you can see it because it's, well, it started. I have the title screen. I have everything. I'm going to go to single player. Start the marine campaign. I don't know if it does for others. It's like my difficulty. Everything like that. The launch is fine, I guess. Everything. All right. So apparently I've just figured something out. Okay. Apparently when you run it on, if I back out of it right now, I'm clicking a board game. I'm clicking options. I'm going to graphics. I'm running 1400 by 1050. So apparently for right now, even with my headset plugged in and everything working, it runs fine. If you have any problems, just switch it back into uh, Windows 98 me mode. 
but disable all of your human interface devices. Apparently these ones are okay right now because these are controlling my headset. This game absolutely hates modern day controls. So if you're using a piece of shit Dell keyboard like I am, uh, then you're fine. If you're using like a crappy mouse that came with your computer or you're using, hell, even a ball mouse from 1994 or wherever when you had your ball mouse, um, that's perfect. This game is completely axe fine. But anyway, in in a in the gist of it, you have to have to have to disable all of your human interface devices. Don't worry about these. These are all fine. These what control your mouse and your keyboard, your headset, any other peripherals you have enabled on the on the computer. Now I don't have any. I don't know how to get it to work on a Mac. This game has taken me a year and a half, if not two years, of on and off fucking with it to get it to work properly. It works fine on my other computer my desktop computer maybe it's because that that doesn't use i was using a wireless mouse from 2007 and a, a piece of junk keyboard i found at goodwill so um yeah i will having and the reward is i am giving because this game's abandoned where i have a link for everyone to download the full game and have the exact full game plus servers and a whole bunch of other junk the the st gamer strategy guide or whatever but yeah Anyway, if there's any problems you guys have or on any types of computers, leave me a comment down below, and uh, thanks for watching.